Welcome to our ADM Lucid automation testing channel. We'll have a series of talk about Selenium automation testing, which will help you understand the basics of Selenium and also guide you to build your own Selenium automation project. You may access our test project and guide in the description below. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for any new videos and updates. In today's video, we're going to talk about visual regression test. So visual regression testing is a type of software testing that focuses on detecting unintended visual changes in a web application's user interface. This is particularly useful for ensuring that updates or changes to a website or application don't introduce unexpected visual defects. Visual regression testing involves comparing screenshots or images of the application before and after a change to identify any visual differences. So, Capture baseline screenshots. Before making any changes to the application, what we do is we capture screenshots of the key pages or components that you want to test. These screenshots serve as the baseline or reference image. Next, we implement the changes that we want to our application. After do that, we capture new screenshots. After making changes, capture new screenshots of the same page and components. Use Next, what we do is we use a visual regression testing tool or library to compare the baseline screenshot with the new ones. These tools analyze the images pixel by pixel and highlight any differences. Finally, what we do is we review the identified differences and determine whether they are expected or unexpected. Expected differences may include intentional design changes, while unexpected differences may uh, indicate visual defects. If the changes are intentional and unexpected, then we update the baseline screenshots to reflect the new design. This ensures that future tests use correct reference images. So we can incorporate visual regression tests into our continuous integration dash continuous uh, de deployment pipelines to automatically run these tests whenever there are changes to the code base. Visual regression testing tools often provide reports that highlight visual differences and allows teams to track changes over time. Visual regression testing is especially valuable in projects where the visual appearance of the application is critical, such as in user interfaces, web applications, and responsive designs. It helps catch visual bugs early in the development process and ensures a consistent and polished user experience. Okay, so next I'm gonna show you how you can run this in your own Selenium project. So first, uh, like always, you have to go to your palm.xml file and you have to add your dependency. So here we added the dependency for image comparison, as you see right here. So if you just put this into your palm.xml and you build your palm.xml, then you're good. Next, I'm gonna show you how you can implement it in your controller class. So again, we scroll up to the top of your controller class. I just wanna show you that we're importing the package uh, right here. So we have image comparison right here, and we have various different different subcomponents of image comparison here. Okay, now I will scroll down and I will show you two methods that we implement uh, to use and integrate this uh, uh, regression testing. So the first is going to be called go to home, and this basically goes to the home page of this website, and it takes a screenshot of the website and it compares it to the previous screenshot that we taken earlier. So I'll show you how we do this. So first, what we're gonna show you is right here. It goes to the home page right here, and then what's gonna do is it's gonna take a screenshot. So it's gonna come uh, and it's gonna take a screenshot, and then after it takes a screenshot, what it's going to do is it's gonna compare, uh, it's gonna call, this is the current image right here, actual image. So this is the current image we just took, and then this is the expected image, which is an image that we took previously. And it's gonna specify a file location, and then it's gonna perform an image comparison between the previous image and your current image. And it's gonna see if there's any differences. So if there's no differences, it's just gonna print out two images are equal. But if there is a difference, then it's gonna show us the result and, and export it and print it into our directory. So that's go to home. So we do the same thing with a different web page. So this web page is the golf web page on this website instead. And basically it takes a screenshot of the golf web page uh, currently. And then again, it takes this uh, picture of the golf web page from before 
and it does a comparison between the two pictures. And again, if the two images are equal, it'll just type two images are equal. But if they're different, then it'll just uh, export uh, the, the image uh, specifying the differences between the two images uh, into our directory. So I'm going to show you uh, some different test uh, runs of this so you can get a better idea. So first, I'm going to test the go to home page. And so because we basically didn't make any changes to the home page, this should be the same as the expected uh, image from before. So I'm going to uh, right click and I'm going to run this. So I'm going to let it run. And I'm going to make sure not to touch my mouse. I'll explain later why you don't touch the browser uh, later. So now we see that the test finished running. And I'm going to show you basically it exports all the stuff into this directory. And you can open it up and it'll tell us that the two images are equal. Okay, now this time I'm going to run the same thing. But this time I'm going to drag the browser over and it's going to give us a result saying that the two images are different. So I'm going to right click, run, and basically this will create an image on the second browser, uh, second window, and I'm going to drag it over and uh, I'm going to have it over here and it'll finish running and I'm going to open up the output from this. And this time it's going to say the two images are not equal and I'll show you a screenshot. And the reason for this is because when I dragged the browser over from the other uh, window, it changed the sizing of the window uh, of the website. And when it took a screenshot, that was different than the previous image that we uh, had earlier. So you want to make sure when you're doing this test to make sure that the both of your browsers, uh, when you take screenshots from before and after, that you're using the same dimensions and you're using the same sort of environment. Okay, so that's using the go to homepage, and that was taking a screenshot of the homepage. Next, I'm going to show you using taking a screenshot of the golf page, and uh, so I'll show you that. Uh, and I'm just going to right click and run. So again, I'm not going to touch the mouse, and I'm going to let it run. Nice. So now that it's done running, I'm going to open up our directory. I'm going to open up this file and it's going to say the two images are equal. Perfect. So what I'm going to do this time, a little bit different, is I'm going to go to the go to, uh, to, the go -to golf uh, uh, instant uh, method right here. And I'm going to uncomment two lines of code. So right here, right here. And basically what this does is it logs in to the website first uh, at the golf page right here. And then it takes a screenshot after. So because of logging in, it's going to change your website interface. And so what we do and what we expect is that the images are going to be different. So after doing that, I'm going to run this go to again. So I'm going to run go to uh, actually I'm going to run uh, visual edge right here. I'm not going to touch the mouse, going to let it run. Okay, it's done running. I'm going to open up our output. And we see that it says the two images are different now. And if I open up this image, it'll show us exactly how it's different. And we see that this red box indicates that this was not here earlier. And of course, we expected this because the screenshot we took previously was not logged in. But the screenshot afterwards, we had login. And so uh, all these things shift in location because of adding this element. And yeah, so that's a very simplistic example how you can use uh, this visual uh, regression testing. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you again. Thank you.